Let's begin. Uh, hello, everybody. Welcome to our break night here at Gamers Guild. Check out our cool, sweet uh, box break playmat. Thank you, Jordan. Uh, tonight's break is going to be uh, Modern Horizons and a Zendikar Rising Collector Booster. Uh, we'll be adding a Zendikar box topper uh, like we've always done so far. Um, special note tonight, the box topper expeditions and any foil expeditions that we pull in the Zendikar Rising uh, box will be randomized at the end. You, just, you don't auto get them if you are in the land slot. We determined previously that, uh, that that imbalanced things a little bit and this will give uh, some of those folks in the, the more lackluster colors uh, a shot at redeeming themselves for the tonight's festivities. All right, first things first, we've got to get to assigning our spots. Uh, joining us in person today, we've got Deegan and Jeff B, who are in both break one and two, and Jeff M is joining us here in person as well. He's in break number one. Yay, Jeff. All right, the remainder of hey, our <laughs> uh, players tonight, we've got Arthur, Daniel S, uh, Jonah, and Michael A. Jonah and Michael A have been in every break week so far this uh, since we started doing this a few weeks ago. And Ronnie. All right. And the spots will go to. Oh. <laughs> not to just Jonah. Jonah does not get every spot. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right. Sorry about that. False start, guys. All right. So Ronnie is in black. Daniel S. is blue. I'm sure Deegan's in red or white from his reaction. Michael A. is in green. <laughs> Deegan in red. That's all right. You're going to get that season Pyromancer foil, and you're going to feel good about yourself. I hope so. Still okay. <laughs> Arthur <laughs> is in white. Uh, Jeff B. got multicolor. Right. Maybe he'll get that Renin 6. Jeff M. is in colorless. That's a pretty sweet spot. Y'all some lucky bastards. All right, hey, and in lands, we've got Jonah. Yeah. All right, we will randomly determine break number two uh, slots at the beginning of break number two. Let me go ahead and adjust the phone there for when we're randomizing the cards at the end of break number one. All right, so here we go. Uh, so we've got our Modern Horizons box. These are getting a bit more difficult to find. They're officially out of print. Though we've uh, been working hard to maintain their stock here at Gamers Guild. Modern Horizons 2 is on the horizon. <laughs> hey man, you, you gotta be used to, the, All the to that. <laughs> um, remember this Friday, Time Spiral Remastered comes out. Uh, we also still have pre-order spots available for Strixhaven coming out in April. Uh, so keep those in mind if you haven't pre-ordered with us already. All right, let's get started. Pack number one. I think with Modern Horizons, we're just going to skip back to the rear. Oh, what a way to start. Force of Negation. Of course. Of course. Oh man, who had blue? I already forgot. Like, and then I uh, oh well, like Jeff M's gonna collect all these snow-covered uh, lands. That's awesome. Great start for blue. For Daniel S. All right. Lands is Jonah. All right. And another hit right off the nice. bat for Jeff M. Good job, man. Uh, Sword of Sinew and Steel. Excellent. We'll show you each of the art cards as we come to them as well. Wow, man. I'm like, is this box going to be insane or are we about to hit a dry spell already? <laughs> Alright. And we have a dual land, uh, Waterlot Grove. Uh, these are uh, the uh, horizon lands or, or canopy lands. They're all like um, 
based around the same gimmick as Horizon Canopy was. They just uh, finished out uh, a cycle of those. So there should be three other ones of those we can pull. Awesome. So we've got a really good start for Daniel S, for Jeff M, and for Jonah. Jonah's due to have a good week. He's had a couple rough ones here in our breaks. Altar of Dementia, nice, for Colorless. And a Foil Vesper Lark for White. Genesis, something I play in my commander deck. Originally in the Odyssey block. I was trying to foil out a Doran commander deck many years ago. Oh God, that was and still like Genesis was one of the last cards I needed. I eventually found like a French foil. It would have been so much easier had they had taken the time to reprint it prior to that. Uh, as you can see here in uh, Modern Horizons, we have Slivers. I just mentioned that because in Time Spiral Remastered, you will see a, a whole set worth of Slivers, including the first reprinting of Sliver Legion. But we have another good hit for lands. Silent Clearing, the black-white duel. Nice, Jonah. Oh, and a Foil Goblin Matron, one of my personal favorites, for red. Yeah, red card. <laughs> now you can go search out his favorite goblin. <laughs> oh, we've got a green mythic, Hex Drinker, Love that card. Oh, from Michael A. I think green, like green, doesn't have any of the top like like pulls in uh, in these two sets, but I mean it's got a lot of good ones. Um, well, I guess that's not quite true. I mean, Ancient Green Warden is really good. Shy is really good coming up in Zendikar. They just. Shia is really good in Commander. Well, we all know how much Charlie loves Commander. Shia no, Charlie is the literally the biggest fan of Commander on the planet. Don't let him lie to you. Cordial Vampire, we've got a nice rare for black. Which server was that? The double striking one? What, for the art card? Yeah, the art card. Oh my god. One of my secrets when it comes to magic is I almost never look at art. Like, usually this part of the card is a blur to me. I, I just, for some reason, I just always, like, envision the name and the text. Uh, the art, it doesn't help me find your cards any faster when you uh, send in those lists. We've got our first rare for multicolor, uh, Kaya's Guile. Oh, a foil snow-covered island. Awesome. Jonah is really like hitting well this week so far. This box is pretty good already. I'll be interested to see if if uh, the second Modern Horizons box holds up and is as good as this one. Oh, great. Another a nicely playable rare for green, Collector Oof. It sees a lot of sideboard play in... Uh, in modern. Come on, let's let's pull a, a Sarah for a white. Oh, nice! Ooh. Mythic for multicolor. The first sliver. All the legendary slivers are five colors. This is the latest incarnation for that. Um, wait, Jeff, let's see, Jeff B, yeah, that's nice, man. That's a good pull for you. Now you gotta build a sliver commander deck so that when you pull a, a sliver legion in Time Star Hour Remastered, you can build around those. Good luck with the, finding a sliver queen, though. Those things are, are super expensive. <laughs> Mirrored and Besieged rare for blue. And a foil rare for white, Force of Virtue. They did a whole cycle of forces in this release. Uh, like 
We've already seen force of negation. That is definitely the best one, but What's the favorite for, one? I like force of vigor. I think that's the most slotted one. Yeah, I think that's true. Tribute Mage Uncommon for Blue. I just mentioned that because super popular in Commander, and we are often sold out of him. He gives in a ton of lists. We've got an Endling for Black. Nice. Black's take on Morphling. Look, guys, every color we've gotten a rare except for red. A, a, a foil Goblin Matron <laughs> counts as a rare. If it's not 7th edition, no, it does not. <laughs> Oh, we got uh, a cycle of talismans in here. That's going to be another boon for Jeff M. here with Colorless. Oh, another rare land for Jonah. The red, uh, red white land, the Sunbaked Canyon. Awesome. Reap the Past, multicolor rare. Scale up, that's a really sweet uncommon. Gets played in uh, Infect sometimes these days. And Tectonic Reformation for red. Ooh. There you go, Justin. Asking you shall receive. Sweet. I mean, I know it's not as good as your uh, Royaline Earthquake from last week, but they can't all be winners. Obviously. <laughs> Uh, here we go, Hogak uh, for multicolor. Oh, so good he got hit with the band hammer very quickly <laughs> after his release. And then we've got a foil for green with a nimble mongoose. It's one of the handful of cards that actually got reprinted into this set. Modern Horizons is actually like 98, 99% brand new cards. They reprinted a handful. I think it was like literally five cards. Um to uh, take them out of uh, legacy play and into modern, Nimble Mongoose being one of them. Although he hasn't really made an impact, but it's still pretty sweet. We've got another scale up there. Oh, another land for Jonah, Hall of Heliod's Generosity. Goes with all the enchantment builds in Commander, nice. And Jonah is killing it today. Speaking of banned cards, Arkham's Astrolabe. Is that banned? Got banned in Legacy, I believe. Is it, so it's still legal in Modern? I, I don't know if it is. It might. I think. And you know, I might be misremembering. It might be banned in Modern. It should have been banned in Modern. That's probably what it is. I think it was. Uh, Plague Engineer, nice rare for Black. Ban that instead of Urza. That's right. That was smart. Yep. Don't ban the. Dude. Speaking, hard to say because force of despair nice nothing wrong with a potentially free board wipe nice one for black don't ban no effect just ban food <laughs> <laughs> well they couldn't ban urza it was i mean at least not so early on i mean being the a mythic and being the face of the set although they didn't hesitate with hogak that much yeah. <laughs> oh and another force force of vigor Nice, a good one for green. Awesome. Michael A's definitely hit two of the better green cards so far, or three of them now with um, Collector Oof, Hex Drinker, and now Force of Vigor. So it's looking strong for him. Dom wants to know where the Digimon is. Uh, Dom, Digimon is both in the past and the future. <laughs> all right, for red, all right, we got a pretty good one. Uh, Aria of Flame, nice for Deegan. Huh. We really need to see a Season Pyromancer to make up some value, but Aria of Flame is a very playable rare. If you trade it for a fourteen dollar card. <laughs> oh, and we got another Horizon Land. Oh my gosh. Jonah, man, you're you're on fire, dude. Oh, yeah. Nurturing Peatland, the black green one. Let's 
so sick. That's all four. Is the best green card so far Croce and Tusker? <laughs> <laughs> no, like the the best green card was definitely Hex Drinker. Yeah. Followed by Collector Youth. Following Shinobi for you ninjutsu players out there. That's a cool card. Yeah. Yeah. For multicolor. Being that they've brought snow back into standard, and all these snow lands are going to be pretty useful for you there, Jonah, if you wanted to. To build something around Jorn and Standard. And another <laughs> dual land. Jesus. Outrageous. What a sick box. Another silent clearing. Oh, and a foil Ooh. mythic. That's so hot. Wow. Oh, wow. Jesus. Uh, a yeah. mythic hex drinker. Oh, my gosh. Look how, like, that's such a nice looking foil. Oh, and a Mox Tantalite art card. That's pretty cool. Oh, oh man. My word. What a box. <laughs> Alright, we need to see something for white, though. Arthur hasn't really gotten anything yet, man. We need to see a Sarah or like a Ranger Captain of Eos. Got a full rare. And another land! In oh, the, in, oh, oh my geez, god, Prismatic right. Vista! Jonah. Oh, like. <laughs> like, fetch lands are awesome. Best. And Prismatic Vista can search for any basic. The card that continues to elude me. Oh my goodness gracious. And we've got a foil, Imposter of the Six Pride for white. I'm trying, Arthur. I wheeled that foil in there for you, man. I'm sorry it wasn't better. He just found out he got white. <laughs> <laughs> hey, white has more comments than I do. <laughs> yeah, see, uh, we're... We're skipping all that, all those generous gifts. Maybe yeah. there's maybe there's like a handful of generous gifts in these uncommons to help make up some value for you, Arthur. We've got a rare for multicolor, collected conjuring. Oh, dude, that just made it into historic. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's you're awesome. Right, you're right. You did. I don't know what you're gonna use it with, <laughs> but it's in there. Use it, draft. Oh, nice! No we hit way. both swords yes. for Mythic! Jesus uh, sword and uh, Sinnoh and Steel for Jeff M. He's hit both swords. Like, the only thing, he, like, he hasn't hit, like, a, like what does he have left possible? Like, a Morathon? Fire and Ice? Mox Tantalite. Oh. <laughs> Mox. Even though it's not very good. Oh, man, that's so good, man. Nice. This box is insane. Good value box. Yes, there is. Deep Forest Hermit for green. One of the best limited bots. Oh, nice. And another foil snow covered island. Jesus Christ. Jonah, man. Like I was saying, though, Deep Forest Hermit never passed this dude in limited. He's so, uh, so good. Aaron Dews, you remember that time you could have had two of them? You remember that time you didn't win the tournament? That's why. <laughs> I actually think uh, Legacy Cube is out right now. On Moto? Yeah. Oh man, I wish I had some time. I love playing any any version of almost any cube, but not that team or cube. Uh, no, that one was that one was rough. Uh, we got a second Arya Flame for Deegan. Nice. He sings a lot. <laughs> Man, how many mythics have we pulled? Like, we've only got a handful I've of packs here. Uh, <laughs> green only has two, three. Including got another the, talisman. Including the foil four. We've had four mythics so far. Jeff M five. getting five. five mythics so far. Uh, Mage, Emerit Lage of Slumber for blue. Forgot about this. Uh, foil Fists of Flame. That actually sees a little bit of play in Popper. Dom said Aaron's not here to defend himself. <laughs> That's fair. Oh man, another <laughs> land for Jonah. Scalding time. Like we might be in the midst of the most sick, like uh, like break opening, uh, like so far, man. Fiery Islet, uh, red blue. So good, Jonah, man. Dude, I feel bad for whoever gets lands in the next. 
<laughs> There's not going to be a single dual land in that next box, man. Abort. Yeah, he's got an all five. Astral Drift. That was the buy box promo for there this set. Yeah. We finally got a rare for white. There you go, Arthur. I know you've been uh, waiting eagerly for that. I still need to see that Sarah or that Ranger Captain. But you know what? Maybe you'll end up with a foil expedition. And a second Prismatic Vista. Are you wow. kidding me? This Bro. is the best lands box of, of all time. Oh, my gosh. Jesus Christ. Holy moly. Uh, I hope Jonah's watching. I really Thank hope you. Jonah's watching. I wish he we could, could be here because he was here for – he took some lumps. Yeah. All right, on the ones he was present for. Okay, Woo! All right, two packs left. More We've got a Dead of Winter. Nice. Nice. N not a bad one for Black. We've got a, a foil answered prayers for white. My prayers are unanswered. Thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last pack. We got a force negation. That, uh, I mean, like, that almost paid for this. Compared spot. to what I thought they were going to do. Yeah, I mean, I mean, they still, you know, they still obviously like to see an Urza in this pack. Um, but I mean, really, that force took care of of all the uh, financial concerns. <laughs> And, and I mean, and really, who who would have expected to run into the buzzsaw that is Jonah today with like like eighteen rare lands? All right, we we do end with a blue rare, Miss Syndicate uh, Naga. You're welcome, blue. I spoke it into existence. All right, man, it's gonna be hard for a collector oh, box yeah. to be as good as that Modern Horizons box was. What a what a yeah. sick box that was. All right, but got to move on to Zendikar Rising. Box topper number one over there, number two. What was it, like two? And our bonus box topper. All right. Get this started right. We want to see like some full art foil skyclave apparitions for white because they, they got some ground to make up. Uh, green has all kinds of possibilities with ancient green warden. You don't count this. I don't. <laughs> uh, black is probably wanting to see like an Agadim's awakening or a scourge of the skyclave. Like black definitely wants to see some stuff. They didn't they didn't have a crazy horizons box. We're going to just scroll through our common foils and uncommons. Is there anything in Zendikar for, uh, for colorless? Uh, for colorless in Zendikar, you're going to want to see um, um, like Lithoform yeah. Engine. Yeah. Lithoform Engine. Okay. All right, we've got our full art for black. So we're getting this started off with a little bit of value for black. Null Priest of Oblivion. A foil for red, Cargan Intimidator. We've got a, a showcase rare for multicolor, uh, Philath the World Sculptor. Foil showcase territorial scythe cat for green. And we've got a full art foil yeah. Linvala for yeah. multicolor. That card. Nice, Jeff. Such a good looking full art foil, too. It is one of the best uh, full arts, I think. Bad the foil expeditions aren't going to lands after that Modern Horizon full for Jeff. Oh my god. <laughs> that would, it would be a land slide. <laughs> Damn. You just walked right into that one, buddy. <laughs> All right. Full art forest there. Oh, we've got another full art uh, for multicolor, Anawan the Ruin Thief. You can also find him in the uh, commander deck for uh, Zendikar Rising in the, the blue-black rogues. We've got a foil for green, a swarm shambler. I've already seen a lot of people this time. Nice showcase ruin crab for blue. Showcase rare for black, Skyclave Shade. So black is looking up a bit. Foil Dread Worm. And the hits keep on coming for lands. Full art foil. River Glide Pathway. That's the blue red one, isn't it? That is the yeah. blue red one. It can go with your fiery eyelet. <laughs> Sick. Man, like, Jonah is being greedy this week. He's taking no prisoners. I regret, regret 
volunteering to sleep. The landslide. <laughs> just making me more sad. God, there's a goblin landslide. We just we had a, a person build a goblin uh, commander deck like two days ago that had a goblin landslide in it, or goblin slide, I should say, goblin slide. All right, we've got a uh, full art rare for red, Royaling Vortex. There you go. Not too bad, not too bad. <laughs> oh, this card's a bust. <laughs> we want to see that foil full art Leyline Tyrant. Yes. That's what we want to see for Justin. But we did get him another foil rare, a Wayward Guide Beast. Showcase Treadworm. And another full art land, Bright Climb Pathway for white, or for lands, the white. Um, white wishes. Black one, yeah. <laughs> Next time, no one gets land. <laughs> wow. All then we've got a, a foil showcase. Oh! No way. This does not go to Jonah yet. Uh, we've hit our first foil expedition, uh, Valakut the Molten Pinnacle. I mean, that's a red card, guys. It is Come a red on. card. <laughs> We're just going to set that over there because that someone. will be randomized <laughs> at the end. That is such a sick card, dude. That looks so good. It does look so good. And we've got a full art Wayward Guide Beast for red. A foil Skyclave Shade for black. Showcase Prowling Felidar, Dread Worm. For green, we've got a showcase Kazandu Mammoth. Another foil showcase Scythe Cat. And for black, we've got a full art foil Soul Shatter. Card trail. Yeah, there are a lot of cool sacrifice like themes going around, and Soul Shatter fits very nicely in there. All right. Turgrid loves Soul Shatter. There we go for white. Nice. Full art Skyclave apparition. That get that's about fifteen dollars right now. That's so. Really good nice card. for Arthur. Thank you. Uh, blue rare foil, Charx the Raging Isle. About to, I have a uh, showcase playset of the Scythe Cat there for green. The, oh, for multicolor, we have a full art mythic, right. Nisa of Shadowed Bows. Nice. The Ox. And our second. Uh, foil Expedition, Grove of the Burn Willows. A notch down these days compared to the Valakut, but still awesome. That will be randomized at the end. Yeah, is Valakut really randomized. over Grove now? Yeah, wow. Gro Grove's actually really cheap right now crazy. compared to its previous uh, value. I never remember that really should be in cheap. No, that's, it's still awesome. I think we got another full art land back there, guys. Uh, foil Soaring Thought Thief. That's pretty cool for multicolor. Ondu Inversion, full art for white. There we go. Another nice one for Arthur. And followed by a foil Ameria's Call, Mythic for white. Awesome, man. That's You deserve that one, man. The art on the back is pretty sick. Uh, Ox Showcase. Fledgling Showcase for White. And I was right. Another hit for lands. Branchloft Pathway. The Green White. Foil Brushfire Showcase for Multicolor. And then we end the pack with a Full Art Foil for Blue. Glass Pool Mimic. Yeah, that's a solid pull for Daniel S. There's a foil royal eruption for white or for red, <laughs> common, but you know. Yeah, but there you, there know. you go. Uh -huh. yep. For multicolor, we have a full art non foil Kaza Royal Chaser. For white, we have another foil rare Legion Angel. Nice. White's definitely made up some ground. Skyclave Squid Showcase, Canopy Bale Showcase. And for. Red uh, showcase Valica exploration. <laughs> yeah, this one—it's that other one. I always get it confused with. 
Uh, Skyclave Geopede for red as well. And for multicolor, full art foil, Zagras, Thief of Heartbeats. I'm not going to lie, I have a tough time with these cards without uh, playing standard with them. Yeah, you know I, I, mean? I mean, we're we're putting stuff together every day, but like without actually dealing with people and events and and building like um, like standard deck lists, it's easy for some stuff to fall through the cracks, even if you're active with it every day. Uh, foil Feed the Swarm, that's really good for black, even though it's a common. We've got a full art for blue, Thieving Skydiver. Followed by a blue rare foil, Coral Helm Chronicler. Nice, Daniel. Showcase Dreadworm, Showcase Traboa, and another full art from Multicolor. Hitting both those Planeswalkers. Nahiri, Heir of the Ancients for Jeff. B. For Jeff B. <laughs> uh, Canopy Bay Off Showcase. Whoa, oh, sick for green. This is the one you wanted to see if you're Michael A. Full art, foil, ancient, green warden. So nice. nasty. So good, man. Nice pull, man. Combine that with the Hex Drinker and the Collector Oof and the Force of Vigor, <laughs> and it is not a terrible night for green. Did you open a Collector Oof? Yeah. yeah. Completely missed that. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> Malakia Rebirth, that's another uh, really good foil for I black. Two cards from this set? <laughs> Myriad Construct, colorless, full art for Jeff M. A foil, oh, it's not full art, so like, you want to just throw this one away, Jonah? I'll take uh, it. Foil, Needle Verge Pathway <laughs> for lands, so good. <laughs> Prowling Felidar, Scythe Cat. And a Scoot Swarm Showcase for green. Nice. Followed by a Showcase Foil Nectar Pot for green. And the rich keep getting richer. Full Art Foil Crag Crown Pathway for Jonah. The red green. Oh, so good. Oh, man. Yeah, one regular foil, one full art foil. We're just going to have to take a picture of Jonah's whole pool and, and just show it off. We'll be posting that on like the group page. Michael A. Say he's definitely satisfied with this break. I'm glad you're happy, Michael. <laughs> and we've got another full art for blue, Master of Winds. Finally there for Justin, go. thank goodness. We've got a nice foil mythic, Leyline Tyrant. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take nice. It. Now I think everybody has officially gotten at least one pool they can be really proud of. The ox, squid, and oh my! I promise you, like we're not in some kind of weird loop on this stream. Uh, Needle Verge Pathway for Jonah, Jeez, the <laughs> red Jonah. white non foil. Then we've got a fearless fledgling and another nice one for red foil Valica Exploration. That looks so good as a foil. Oh, is that a showcase one too? Yeah, foil showcase Valica Exploration. Black, got it. Um, Black has gotten our gratitude for being in this break. Thank you, Ronnie. You already you pulled that fabled from Flesh and Blood. You used up all your good luck. All right, two packs to go, and then we will randomize our uh, box toppers. Someone pull an Ugin. Cleansing wildfire, a nice foil common for red. Akiri Fearless Voyager, full art for multicolor, followed by multicolor rare. I've noticed a lot of the full arts have been followed by a foil rare of the same color. I wonder if that's just because of their positioning on the sheet that that is going to be typical. Like that's that's probably the at least the fifth or sixth time that's happened, which is kind of crazy out of a twelve pack box. But uh, that is still a Kaza foil uh, for uh, multicolor. Hellhound and Brushfire Elemental showcases. And for green, we have a showcase Lotus Cobra. That is so pretty. That is one of the prettiest cards in the set. Uh, showcase Foil Ox. 
And we've got a full art foil for multicolor. Grackmaw, Skyclave, Ravager, another Hydra. Like those, that's a very popular archetype in Commander. Often mono green, but you should mix in a little black. That way you can play him and you can play the newest Polychronos. All right, last pack for break number one. It has been a sick day for lands. Let's, let's, like, I don't want to count Ronnie totally out, even though he had all that fabled luck with flesh and blood. So maybe he deserves to see like a, a full art foil scourge or Agadim's Awakening right here. He's out, man. Oh no, no, another hit for green. Nice. Full art uh Ashaya Soul of the Wild for Michael A. Nice. You definitely want to see that one if you're in green in this break. Uh Royaling Vortex Foil for Red. Showcase Lagak. Showcase Nectar Pot. And how else would we close out this than with another land? Holy moly. Bright Climb Pathway. The White Black. Jonah. Oh, my word. Uh, we got a foil showcase. Hellhound for red. And for blue, we've got a foil full art. Confounding Conundrum. That card is underrated, I think. Whew. All right, so how do we want to do these box toppers? Do we want to save the the foil ones for last, or just go ahead and get, get them out of the way? Area. All right. All right, so we're going to do Grove of the Burn Willows first. And Greg said foils for last, but he's not in it. Who, who said that? Greg. Well, Greg's in the second break. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so the Grove of the Burn Willows will go to... Deegan, hey. there is some justice in the world. Nice. Or you, or you can look at it as bad luck because now he's not going to be able to pull any of these other ones. <laughs> the Valakut will go to Jeff B. At least, hey, like <laughs> may, maybe it pays to one. be here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Two people in person just won the box toppers. Nice. All right. Are you going to open it first? What are you doing? We, we got to random it first there, buddy. I've asked every week for you to open it first, and now you're going to open it first. All right, all right. This one will go to Wait, are there any Michael A. No, you just get one crack. Oh. What's it called? Michael's green, correct? Yeah. Okay, make, make sure Michael A., you just won a Seachrome Coast. Remember all the box toppers are non-foil? Nice one, though, Michael A. Nice way to round out an otherwise very good really break for you. All right. You this one's going to go. I, I'm, I'm ready, man. All right. Next up is going to be Ronnie. There you go, Ronnie. All right, Ronnie. I know the break didn't have much for you, but you're at least going to get this. Come on, Ronnie. It's a swamp. It's going to be... <laughs> Windswept Heath, nice. nice. The green white fetch. Nice. Yeah. Very good. Fetches are always good. Nice, dude. I'm glad you were able to get something because that the there was so much land getting pulled that it didn't leave a whole lot of room for a black on on those. All right. And the last one of this round goes to let's see who who really needs it the most. Definitely not Jonah. Jonah needs it. Woo. Um, Give it to Jonah. Arthur. Arthur. I mean. Arthur got the green warden thing. No, Arthur's no. in white. Oh, Arthur's in white. Arthur needs it. Yeah, I mean, honestly, right. anybody but Jonah. I mean, Jeff got the two swords, but... <laughs> anybody it would, but Jonah? But, but really, Let's give it to Jonah. And the phone determines... Jonah! Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, Jonah. Jesus Christ. You deserve it. Well, hey, it's going to be yet another oh, land for him. I hope it's a scalding tarn. Please. <laughs> Please. And I see a clouds. Uh, that's, that's tough. Not. Uh, I mean, I think, I mean, I think come he, on. he can. I mean, he can <laughs> use all of his his dual lands to like wipe the tears from his eyes on this one. All right, awesome guys. All right, well that was break number one. Give us a moment. Yeah. 
to get uh, everything sorted. Well, at least we'll get adjusted for the time. second break. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're getting the second break ready. Start with that, and then go into Modern Horizon. Nah, man, I, I, I like ending with the like the expeditions, no, like, I mean, like, like opening the foil expeditions and stuff. That's oh. just fun. I thought you said I got one of each sword. You did. Two of the same. Oh. Oh wow. Nice. <laughs> I thought it was the same, but I was like, I was looking on here. I definitely thought it was one of each, but. I yeah, so I'm missing the white blue one, which is of course the more valuable one, probably. Oh, All right. No, I think he's right. I think that is the, sure. the truth and justice then. is the one that's the, the little more. People don't believe that anymore. All right, guys. All right, we're going to go ahead and determine our pool for break number two. Clarence is in black. Oh, sorry, Clarence. No, he's about to pull a foil Gogma. Greg is in blue. He's going to hit that Urza that we didn't see in the first box. <laughs> Arthur's in green. It's going to be hard to top the green that we just had last break, but we'll see what happens. Tim is in the red slot, but we didn't pull any Season Pyromancers the first time around, so maybe that's what we'll see in this one. <laughs> Deegan's in white. <laughs> Definitely need to see... That uh, Sarah, that Ranger Captain, uh, this time. Two Ranger Captains. Just stop. In multicolor, we've got Michael A. Michael A is about to make out. In colorless, we've got Vino joining us for the first time. Thanks for playing tonight, man. And then for lands this time, it, like Jeff B. If we can even come close to what we just did for Jonah, Jeff is going to be super happy. That's tough. I wouldn't want to be there right now. All right. And just so you know, he ended up with six duel out of that box, plus the two discus. That's Holy crap. Just, just out of the Modern Horizons. That's not. That's so good. Holy crap. It's fucking insane. Well, let me adjust for our randomization oh, later. I don't know why Gary hates me. <laughs> I like taking your money. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Appreciate it, guys. All right. Starting off. <laughs> Break number two. It's going to be hard to beat starting off with a force of negation, but let's see what we can do about that. Uh, for multicolor, we've got Akaya's Guile to get us started. I'm sure there's going to be some better things to come from Michael A. Got another talisman there for colorless. Collector Oof, nice for green. Arthur's about to make up all of his ground from his uh, white uh, break from before. He just He got that full art Skyclave apparition though, so it's not not all bad. Don said thank you. Ah, uh, here's the here's the other sword, sword of truth and justice. <laughs> That's going to go to Vino this time. I hope you're watching, man. Nice mythic for Colas right off the, the jump here. Foil Iceberg uh, Cancrix for blue. Oh, 
Eladomri's call from Multicolor. Nice. Any like all tutor effects are good. That's the worst tutor. Oof. Tough, right? Yeah, I have to think on that one. Ice Fan Quotal for Multicolor. Oh, we didn't do that at all. That's no, nice. we didn't. I, that's definitely, that's arguably the second best Multicolor card in this set after Ren and Six, which we also didn't see in box number one. So maybe we'll see a, a Ren and Six for Michael this time. I know like some folks asked me if we were going to combine any of the colors for this one, but I really feel like even though like red and white are a little weaker, the stuff at the top of their of those colors is still really good and if you hit that you're going to be very satisfied i mean everything when i was researching the sets like every color had two or three really nice pulls i didn't really feel like it warranted splitting uh, or combining anything for this one uh bizarre guild uh, trade mage for blue the very first modern horizons draft uh that we did here i drafted two of this dude and i thought he was going to be so house but man, I think he still is in limited, but my deck was so terrible. Oh, nice. Foil snow covered planes for Jeff B. That's how much all of my cards except the Void Line Tyrant are worth. And a Vista for Jeff. Thanks. The, the lands keep on coming <laughs> in box number two. Wow. Plain Bound Accomplice for red. Hope it gets a bit better from there, Tim. The talisman's worth more than red. Yeah, the talismans are awesome. I think we just sold, like, after having so many, we finally sold our last talisman of creativity. Oh today because um, like those are the like the the Voltron style equipment decks for white red are, are getting really popular in commander we've got a nether spirit for black nice it was cool that they decided to finish out like the cycle for talismans with this set like they were their original five were from Mirrodin and they they didn't make any more until Modern Horizons. There we go, another talisman right there. Miss Syndicate Naga for blue. Kess. Speaking of commander, a very popular commander, uh, Grixis Wizard, a nice mythic for multicolor. Foil Segovian Angel for white. Winds of Abandon, another rare for white. Astral Drift for white. If we're not going to hit any of the big ones for white, we're just going to hit it in volume. That's where, where Deegan's going to get his value. Just ringing up his Pikachu. We collected Conjuring for multicolor. Every time I scan it, it's something different from what it is. I think Charlie was right about all the dual lands being... Uh, stuck in box number one. Yeah, dude, you're not seeing anyone. Either. Another talisman. Hey, Force of Rage. Nice, the red force. Foil, uh, foil, spiteful sliver for red. Excellent. Not a bad pack for red. There you go, Tim. Get a little something going. 
Maybe that momentum will take you to a seasoned pyromancer. That's what we really want to see, man. There we go for white, mythic rare, ranger captain of Eos. That is the number one hit for white in this set. Some would argue the Sarah uh, Planeswalker, but ranger captain I think is a bit more. Maybe that bodes well for a blue. Maybe we'll hit that Urza or black. Maybe we'll hit that Yawgmoth. We got an Arya Flame for Red, another pull for Tim. Wall of Blossoms, that's a good uncommon for green. Another Talisman. Force of Vigor, nice. Green is not looking too bad right now. Man, that other box was so good. <laughs> <laughs> That, that, that box <laughs> is, is kind of crushing this one so far, man. A Cabal Therapist for Black. And a full, uh, full art foil snow-covered forest for lands. Deep Forest Hermit for green. I do love that card. Mirrored and Besieged for Blue. Future Sight for Blue as well. We didn't see that one. Oh, nice. Ooh. Nice. We didn't see this one in the last box, but it is what a Giver of Runes foil for White. Nice. Excellent. That would definitely probably be the third best uh, card for white. So it's looking up for Deegan this round with the Ranger Captain and the Foil Giver. It's already like five times better than last time. <laughs> <laughs> you are not wrong, Charlie. Oh, our dual land. Nice for yeah. Jeff. Nurturing Peatland, the black green. Nice. You can put that in L's if you haven't already gotten it. Of course, it's not live or white. <laughs> Endling for uh, black. Another talisman for colors. Reap the past for multicolor. Dude, black, black is dude, right? Like. I mean, we really need to see that Yagma. Like yeah. Tectonic Reformation for red. Uh, foil Common for red. Blade Back Sliver. Isn't Yagmoth getting reprinted? Yagmoth is getting reprinted in Time Spiral Remastered. It's going to be one of amazing. the archive cards. It looks yeah. amazing it, that border. Oh my God. It does look good. Fallen Shinobi for multicolor. I wonder how much foil Yagmoth will be. On that border. Oh man, I don't know. From what they're saying, like it's gonna be very tough to pull a foil, a time shifted card in this set. One in every ninety-one boxes. What? Yep. One in ninety-one boxes. Anybody think they were uh, feeling some some of the pressure from the public about how uh, popular uh, Flesh and Blood is as far as chasing down like crazy rares? Same thing with like Pokemon. I think this is Magic's way of dipping their toe in that end of things a little bit. I've uh, got a Cloud Shredder Sliver for multicolor. But yeah, a Foil Yawgmoth would be really awesome. Foil True Name Nemesis time shifted. Yeah. That would be cool. There's so many good cards they like they've time shifted. Foil Thought Tears, right? Thought Tears is time shifted. Oh, Goblin Engineer, nice for red. 
Yeah, I believe so. They like they took so many staples to give them the old border treatment. I must have missed the thoughts. Yeah, I didn't even realize it was in there. It's either Thought Seed or Tutor. I can't remember what's in there. Demon Dem Dem Demonic Tutor is in there. It, it's Demonic Tutor, then. I saw. I haven't. I saw the Japanese version of no, the that, Tutor. That's. Um, no, that's Strixhaven. That's, Strixhaven. that's not time. Tutor's Strixhaven. Yeah, okay. you're, you're right. Ayula's okay. uh, influence for green. Well, I'll say one thing for this box. We're seeing a lot of rares we didn't see the first time around. Maybe I thought I had a box instead of house. <laughs> <laughs> Fiery Islet for lands. There you go. Nice, red, blue. It's already better than I thought it was going to be. We're still lacking on the mythics a little bit, though. Unsettled Mariner for Multicolor. Forgot about that card too. Oh, it's it's like Feaster of Fools foil for black. It's almost twice as much. As yeah, the Mariner is cool, man. Being a shapeshifter, he fits right into a lot of like, cool archetypes. I really love tribal decks, and as long as it, uh, as long as you don't mind throwing it, like just like kind of shoehorning some shapeshifters in there, uh, he'll be a good one. I like tribal decks with all the black commander. <laughs> a Hogak, uh, once again from Multicolor. Just a couple packs left. Definitely think that box number one was was far better. Jesus but we still got we can still do some redeeming here. Cordial Vampire for black. Yeah. It's not a Yogmoth, but it's very playable. I'm sorry, Clarence, man. I'm trying to pull you a foil Yagma. Uh, you look queen among the bears for green. <laughs> All right. What a rough box. Oh. What, what do you need to say this? Just the box. I don't. The people, you're. They're already done. <laughs> they're toast. To save the box, what do you need? Uh, foil, Renin foil Urza, Urza. Uh, foil, foil, foil Renin Six. Foil Renin Six would save the box. You get, you gotta see a, you gotta see a big foil mythic for this to have not been at like least, a, a at, disappointing box. At least a big mythic period, like our mythics. What mythics have we gotten in this box so far? We got Ranger Captain of Eos. Yep. Sword and the sword. And the sword, and the sword, sword of sword. Truth and Justice. <laughs> and that's it. No freaking way. Oh. And Kess. and Kess, I mean Kess really shouldn't have been a mythic. Like she's she's good, but she should not have been a mythic in this. So we have full three mythics. We're definitely due for a mythic. Let's hope that it's a foil. Come on, I'm rooting for the Yogmoth, but I'd like to see any really good foil mythic this this pack. And we got a Merit Lages oh Slumber goodness. for blue. And that was it, folks. Yeah. Woo, what a rough box. That was like every box of this that I opened for myself. That was a rough one. I mean, <laughs> as crazy as it sounds, that like with just the few lands that they pulled, lands still might have been the best. Yeah. But White did pretty good this box with the Ranger Captain and the Foil Giver of Runes. Uh, we got a lot of ground to make up for with Zendikar Rising. Holy shit. You're going to have to pull some Foil... Uh... Uh, it's gonna have to be like a foil, like like one. misty rainforest or something. Feed the swarm foil is nice for black. There you go, Clarence. That's very playable for when you put your next standard deck together. Uh, Kiri for multicolor full art foil, followed by a foil multicolor rare. That trend seems to continue. Aura Skyclave Hierophant. And for lands, we've got our first uh, uh, dual land, Crag Crown Pathway. The white green, or red green, rather. Showcase foil geopede. And for black, nice, finally. Jeez Louise, man. Like, fourth box into this night, and we finally get a sweet, like, black mythic Scourge of the Sky Clay is full art foil. Nice. That is arguably the one you want to see in this box 
hopefully we still have an Agadim's Awakening for you. But awesome. That was finally a good one. We still got a lot of ground to make up for everybody after that that Modern Horizons box. Inscription of Abundance, Full Art for Green. Foil Magmatic Chandler for Red. I think we saw one of those in the first box too. Another Showcase Lotus Cobra, so not a bad one for a green there. Showcase Foil Ox, very pretty card. And uh, for Multicolor, Full Art Foil Linvala, we saw one of those in the first box as well. Not bad, Michael A., not bad. Yasharn for multicolor. Full art. For red, we've got a foil Nahiri's Lithoforming. Nectarpot Showcase. Ruin Crab Showcase for blue. Nice. And another land. Uh, Bright Climb Pathway. The uh, white black. And for green, we've got a foil full art swarm shambler. Don't worry, Arthur. We're going to pull you a full art foil Ashaya or something. Cleansing Wildfire, nice. Oh, for Clarence, for Black, full art, Scourge of the Skyclaves, non-foil. Nice. Excellent pull. And then for Multicolor, we've got a foil in Vala, non-full art. <laughs> Squid and Felidar. And then we've got a Showcase Felidar's Retreat for White. How long have you been here for this, Jared? Well, if nothing, come by and get their cards out for you. Oh, yeah, I'll be here for a while. Like, yeah. I'll probably be here till uh, at least, I don't know, what, 10? What time is it right now? 8.30. Nice. Then we've got a full art foil for red, the Valley Cut Awakening. It's a very nice looking full art foil. Check out the Valley Cut Stone Forge on the back. You're getting the red ones. <laughs> well, for red, we want to see the, uh, like a full art foil Shatter Skull Smashing. Or Leyline Tyrant. Yeah, or Leyline even though I think the, the Shatter Skull Smashing outvalues it by a little right now. That's because everybody's playing the other five cards. Yeah. The the Goldspan Dragon. Goldspan is nice. Yeah. Yeah. Master of Winds, Full Art for Blue. A regular Foil, Bright Climb Pathway for Lands, White Black. We got the Showcase Baylaw, Showcase Brushfire Elemental. Ooh. And for multicolor, right. we have a full art Nisa of Shadow Bows. Nice. Good one for Michael A. We got a Showcase Dreadworm Foil. And for black, black's cleaning up right now, man. Uh, full art foil Shadows Verdict. Not bad. Glad we're pulling some stuff for you, Clarence, for jumping in here at the near the last minute. Full art uh, Wayward Guide Beast for red. Uh, foil Squad Commander for white. We really need to pull like is, we really need to pull something for blue. Uh, Dread Worm Showcase Lagak Showcase for red. And for lands, we've got the green-white dual land, Branch Loft Pathway. Flips to Boulder Loft Pathway. Showcase Squid for blue. And a Full Art Foil, Cargan Intimidator for red. Nice. It's almost the exact red cards from the first box. You know, you got to send your, your good vibes to, to get a Full Art Foil Seagate Restoration. 
you know, where are the full art uh, expeditions? I don't know. And this might be one of those, like, one foil expedition boxes. But let's keep our fingers crossed and hope for better than that. That's not good. What? We had, like, four. Full art Cargan Intimidator for red. Foil Shadows Verdict for black. I think this is going to be an expedition pack right here. Scythe Cat. Ox. We've got Clearwater Pathway, uh, the blue-black duel for lands. Nice. Hellhound Showcase Foil. Oh, and Valakut Exploration Foil Rare for red. I had a fella come in yesterday, and he was buying a bunch of set boosters for Kaldheim. And twice... No, like I remember when we were opening them for our break, I kept on wanting to see the four rare pack. And I actually saw him open two five rare packs. Uh, it was pretty crazy. But he wasn't really pulling anything. And so finally, in his last batch, he went, he went to the well one last time and pulled a, a foil showcase um, Vorinclex. So that was pretty sweet. And if Greg, if we don't pull anything crazy for you this week, just remember that. Just remember those two that you pulled <laughs> in our previous break. <laughs> nice for white, full art Skyclave Apparition. I'd like to see that one in foil, but that's still a great pull for white. Foil regular art Lotus Cobra for green. Showcase Scoot Swarm also for green. Showcase foil the Gak for red. And for black, right. full art foil Tabarax. Black has occupied that slot for the majority of these packs. Tazri uh, for full art for white, white mythic. Followed by Foil Archon of Emeria for white as well. Prowling Felidar. Fearless Fledgling. Nice for multicolor. Showcase Mythic Omnath Locus of Creation. Band. <laughs> we should make a band yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Just like a little sensor bar that pops yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. I'll do that. that is a good uh, idea. Yeah. Yeah, he who shall not be played in standard anymore. Any format. Pretty much. Uh, that's okay. Like, there's still, you know, there's always commander. Uh, <laughs> Dreadworm foil. Foil, dual land. Uh, another bright climb pathway. Nice yeah. for lands. Well, but, like, we are still, we're three, we only have three packs left, and we have not hit expedition. an expedition. I'm starting to think well, I'd, like I'd want to be in the first group no matter what. Just so I wouldn't have to compare it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Like, or you could just be like Jeff and Deegan and just be in, in b both of them. Yeah. Or Michael. <clears throat> really in regrowth, that's not a bad uncommon foil for green. Mall of the Sky Clays, full art for white. Yep. Foil right Glass Pool Mimic for blue. Showcase Legak, Showcase Pickaxe, uh, Pylath World Sculptor, once again, Showcase for Multicolor, Territorial Scythe Cat for Green Foil, just keep waiting for that expedition, man, Full Art Foil Kaza for Multicolor. All right, last two packs. We want to hit expedition, expedition in these. At least one good expedition. Yeah. You remember when we opened three foil expeditions in one of these? Like the last time we opened this set. That feels like a distant memory after this box. <laughs> <laughs> Although it's been pretty good for clearance. Inscription of insight, full art for blue. Foil Zareth for multicolor. Nectar Pot Showcase for green. 
Pale Hound Showcase for Red. Valakut Exploration for Red Showcase. Showcase Foil Ruin Crab for Blue. There we go. Nice. Bountiful Promenade Expedition Foil. It's actually pretty cool. Yeah. yeah Originally in Battle bad. Bond. Dude, I was getting worried that we I weren't going to get any. Get one at all, yeah. Like That's at that, like pretty in that expedition, right? Yes. Well, I mean, you can get the non-foil, yeah. obviously, but no, these weren't around when, um, when they did the original expeditions for Zendikar right, or for Battle for Zendikar. Let's do this. All right, we want that second expedition foil. I'd also like to see, like, uh, I'd like to see that Seagate restoration for Greg. I'd like to see an Ashaya or an Ancient Green Warden for Arthur, although he's he's done pretty well. Um, Tim is at an okay time with Red. It's going to be a Hagra Mauling for Black. Nice. Full art for Black. We got another hit for Lands. Uh, the Blue Black Duel, Clearwater Pathway Foil. Prowling Felidar, Showcase for White. Showcase Drabola for white. We've got another dual land, the red blue, <laughs> full art. Showcase foil canopy bayloth for green. And a full art foil Zareth for multicolor. One expedition that box. Rough. Be four green. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> This would be the time that if, if say, like, Aaron was up here and Charlie were up here, that the next box of collector boosters would be getting sold, like, one or two packs at a time until everybody pulled, <laughs> like, three foil expeditions. Yeah. Those were the days. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Oh, yeah, we still do have our anymore. box toppers. Hopefully they are sick to make up for a kind of a lackluster – uh, break number two. Um, as always, we definitely thank you for uh, participating. Uh, let's see. So we're going to go ahead and give away this Bountiful Promenade to Jeff B. <laughs> I knew it. I was, I was thinking that. Nice. All right. Don't open it. I can, I can, I can, I can open it, like, partly. The power is gone. All right. Yeah. The second box topper <laughs> will go, or well, I guess the first box topper will go to Deegan. What the hell? Dude, I'm telling you, it's weird <laughs> being here in person, Juju. Marsh Flats. Nice. 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 Fetches always good. Nice. Awesome. The, if you ever want to know if a, a Magic player is new or not, here's the best indication and the best way to find out. Is if they look at a fetch land or a dual land <laughs> and they go, why don't I just play regular lands? That, that, not, 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 not an insult, but it is a clear indication that they are a newbie. Or if they don't pick, for or, pick power. And they say evolving wild <laughs> is the same thing. Yeah, the, the other indication for newbies are one people that just don't think drafting moxes is good. <laughs> but, you know, nobody, nobody we know is crazy enough to feel that way. All right, next box topper. It's the triplets. Next box topper. <laughs> to Greg. Greg, thank you. Yeah, like, oh, you, you, definitely, you needed something, man. No, you needed he something. didn't. He made out last week. He was good for three weeks. <laughs> what well, he, he needed something to pull this one out, yeah, and it's gonna be a misty rainforest. Nice, nice. 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 <laughs> he he is charmed, yeah. man. Like yeah. down to the like practically the last card we're giving away this week, he and he bird. pulled it out in the end. Pulled out all his value. What the sick, hell? so sick. It's karma for all the. Aren't you guys all happy that I've out. just been like piling up <laughs> these expeditions to to give away? Yes. Greg's not in here, so you can't see it. Just seeing it, so just 
keep that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And the last one's going go to go to. I'm sick of you opening them. Stop <laughs> opening them. Flip it or rip the box topper. <laughs> Not in this house. All right. <laughs> I would kill and the last one goes to who? Who? Who arguably did the worst here? Uh, Carlos, by far. Yeah, that's Aside me. from the sword, oh. <laughs> he got the sword, and that was basically it. Okay, so we're so like, I mean, Vino or Tim, I think could make we can make an argument for theirs being the the poorest of this break number two. Damn. So he, he literally got the sword and no other <laughs> rare. All right, so we're we're rooting for Vino here. <laughs> rooting for Vino here. All right, it's gonna go to. Michael A. That's just how it breaks there sometimes, folks. For Michael A, though. It's a prismatic vista. Sick. So like that, like the maybe maybe that's why the boxes had to be a mediocre because the box (laughs) toppers were nasty. So nice. Like that is a great pull for Michael. Um, great job, man. I can't wait to give you this when you come by. All right, that's a nice way to end our break for this week. Next week, we will be breaking Time Spiral Remastered. Really? Yes, yes uh, I will put up the details for that um, once uh, I, I kind of sit down and break down the set to make sure um, I know exactly how I want to do it and at what price point. But rest assured, we will definitely save a couple boxes and be breaking those next Monday. Can we start a little early since we might be doing more? Uh, if we have an earlier start time, we will be sure to post that. Um, but we, we definitely appreciate you joining us. Uh, if you haven't already, feel free to like our videos and subscribe to our channels. Um, not trying to be all internet famous, but we do appreciate all of your support. And we want to bring you as much entertainment as we can while we all make our way through these uh, uh, fun and trying times. Uh, At any rate, I thank you for joining us again this week. See you next week.